is the bread and butter that you need to know as a jungler and definitely playable into the Azir. Meanwhile, though, Ding Toss, you always look at the top lane for the magic, Mazel. You got to. Energy. You were just talking about Ignar. You know, him trading flashes with Tomo pretty early on does also help out with a lot of... So they're going to be able to zone him off. All right, Cannon Minion at least will die. It's tanking a lot. That's one turret plate. How much can they deny from FBI here? I love it because it's a little bit of revenge. Santorin, best serve cold, he says, in first blood to Poom and Dignitas. Oh, this is... I, honestly, I don't even know how they get themselves back out of this. Even with contracts here, they got the kill. So Tomo denies even more experience to FBI. He gets another turret plate. Poom and Santorin oh are still God. playing bodyguard, and they're oh, going again. It feels so bad. He's just getting dope now. The cleanse, the flash, everything used. They get one trade back at least. The tower shots, it could just be enough. Contracts want to follow it up, but he is just a rel. And they get one, but it is the trade back forth. Yeah, they sh Oh, he's got the speed up here. Ignar's coming in as well. Able to get the first one. There's the cleanse down from Tomo. Bottom side play is really worth it. Two turret yeah. plates into the hands of Tomo. Oh, we'll spot out Contrast taking the blue. We'll take a brunt of damage here as the crash down comes through. FBI has also joined it. Pooh is like, why are there three people in my jungle? He goes down. Call. All right, we give up Rift Trail to keep FBI bottom. Contracts is poking around. He's not going to give up. Oh, no. And as soon as you use that crash down, you have no real way out. And Rich is just peppering in the damage. Tomo and Jensen trying to get over here to help their team. And Contracts is already gone. Got a nice little fade seal combo with Dokla there. And they're turning it around a little bit. Boom. That's a double kill for Palafox. Emperor's Divide comes back, though, and he pushes him right back. Oh, no. Dignitas end up turning it around. And Rich is coming. But honestly, this... This team fight is hey, looking pretty the good. Blast, the crash down the fade seal. That's the wombo combo there, but delivery straight to Rich with the Emperor's Divide, and Palafox oh. gets burned down, as apparently the bird is feasting today as the double combo flaps all over him. And Rich Quinn from the top, and Jensen takes the whole tower with the help of the Rift Herald. Mid lane prow secured. Guess what? They dealt with those two kills on the Yone pretty easily. Yeah, they did, apparently. And Jensen just gets a giant pack of gold delivered to his front door. And you love that because we were setting in the draft. He grabbed this to make sure he can be that sustainable late game carry for them. Well, he's already got a ton of gold here. He's about to go spend 1,700 of it. NRG need to make something happen. They get the nice little grand entrance there. Santorin gets taken down himself as Ignar gets the kill. One back for energy. They're still hunting contracts over the wall. Can he get the Q? He does. Oh, a little bit of knock up follow up there. FBI can't get into range just yet. And boom. Have to get there with that stand behind me. And with the ulti from Sejuani, so they absolutely blast that Yone, focusing him down. The knock back into the tower down so early in the game. Dealing with a Quinn becomes almost impossible here. Play from energy. Can they make it? Is this the big dokes play they've been looking for? Tomo is aggressed on by FBI. You got another TP in behind from Jensen, though, as Dignitas, they're trying to take the fight. Dokla has joined up, but is it the wombo combo from your dreams? You got a nice pushback from Jensen, but it's NRG who find two for Palafox. They're good for two. They leave the top side open, though. Quinn is going to be pushing on that top. He can be a difference maker for energy as well, since now they don't have the teleport, teleport flank option from Dokla. And I always appreciate the Poom Braum, but I think the Rakan in this situation is just such an enabler for NRG. And speaking of enabling, maybe they're going to be able to find Rich in the side lane. He is a very fluid bird. All right, he's pretty quick on the draw, able to make it out of there. But... For energy, I still like the call here from Dingatoz because they open up topside already. Inhibitor will be exposed, and then they get the earlier rotation over towards mid lane to get yeah. tower number two. I can't believe, like, at this point, we're playing PvE base destroy. And guess what? They've got the extra power on sides. Everybody five on five now, mid though, as Dragon's about to spawn. Mid. Okay. There's still the knockback. The base oh. sealed was a beautiful call there, but the Antia Crystal Arrow comes back and Palafox gets sniped down by Rich. That's not NRG not wanting to back off though. It's shutdown goes to Big Dokes. He's still got to look oh. at the pickoff on a Jensen. FBI almost gets him, but this is a nice little front to back for NRG where they find a comeback. Okay, and they're not oh, done yet, Big Dokes. Oh, Dokla going a little bit far forward, but Tomo can space so well. And with that approach velocity, you can't really get away. The TP will be end up used by Jensen to rejoin the fight. But look to ult over the Azir ult, but then Jensen had a better stopwatch. Broken stopwatch and inventory. That keeps the rest of them off. Defends the rest of the teammates, buys time. 
So Palapox can be a big saving grace for NRG here as he tries to get Poom. The Glacial Fisher does come down, but it will not save him. Ignar gets that kill and NRG, they're starting to find a little energy. And that's exactly what they have to do. Keep making looks, keep forcing these players. Baron, and we're going round two here. Got TP coming in now as well. We'll see them if they want to take the fight instead. It looks like they were just trying to bait it yet again. Trying to catch out Dokla. They get the Emperor's Divide. They're going to have to go in. NRG won it though. Look at Palafox. He finds Tomo on the back in NRG. They're doing it. They get one on a boom too. And it's just team fight potential coming out from them. It's Jensen trying to get away, but he gets locked out again. And it's all she road for Dignitas, four down. Clutch fight for energy there, and the reward so will be- Kaisa just got to freely ultimate into the back line, and they assassinated. Now here, looking for round two. They're feeling rambunctious here. I, I know we had the, the birds on the side of Dig, but it's looking like the Red Bull Baron buff is giving them the wings as they get one on a boom again, and they are just consistently taking the fight here to Dignitas. <laughs> that was a triple kill for FP5 before he went down, but a Quadra in the end, and NRG, they just got a gold lead for the first time in the game. Oh my goodness, Killer Instinct aptly named skill for FBI here. He goes under the tower to finish that Quadra. Tower down, and with the Baron buff, energy completely erase the Dignitas gold lead. They take it for themselves. This was a game where Dignitas were up 4K at 13 minutes, Kobe. Like, this is actually such an incredible fight back for NRG, and it's the composition coming together. It's Palafox leading the way with Lair from Energy. FBI ulting into the back line. And oh, they're it. gonna do it again. They got the engage there for Contract as well. There's the Sea of Fate. The combos ring true. My goodness, it's beautiful to see as NRG now with a 3K lead will take their third drag into the game. Oh, they're running it now. So won't be able to get too much here, but maybe an inhib tower or inhib at least for NRG. Yeah, should be able to finish up that uh, inhibitor. No problem for them selling on the back line of Dignitas. And they're even going to get another turret for themselves here. This the bomb side should be the next focus for NRG. And we're at a point where Dig's composition, they had those early skirmishes. They had a lot of... It's going to be any check from Dig, even though they do have a hawk shot. They know they cannot win this fight. There's way too many angles in the jungle. Rich there ends up missing the sealed fate, but uh, maybe the chase down from Santorin and Rich, they get the Gale Force forward. They're TPing now as well. Dokla coming to join the fight. He goes golden. That's that stopwatch you were highlighting earlier. And it means that Rich is just out of the fight now. Santorin's like, oh goodness, they gotta find a way out. Meanwhile, their team is being engaged on on the other side of the rift as it's gonna be the TP coming in for Palafox. They gotta try to save the day as they got bursted under that. They go the distance and they have gone the distance in this first game. As well, they are one away from that soul. We have Mountain coming up now, but it is pressure in topside on Rich, and he gets his GA pop. But Dignitas, they don't want to let that go unchecked. They want to try to take down Palafox here. That'd be a nice little shutdown as well, and they're gonna give it straight to Jensen, Big Daddy Bucks. Wait, they're doing this at, at such a terrible time. Energy, they're gonna give up two contracts <laughs> down. The dragon is available. That could be an objective bounty shutdown no for Dignitas, way. and that is a dragon soul denial. They just. Flopped really hard. Finally gets out. Throwing out the W from Kaisa to hope for a lucky Yo, fight. yo. He dies this time. There's the shutdown and the blast cone to safety from Power Fox. The Baron goes over and now the Red Bull wings are covering over Dignitas. How does he get out of oh. this one though? Power Fox pretty big here. The Emperor's Divide locks him out and you got the GA, but it's not going to buy enough time here. You got four members of Dignitas and it will be the kill going to Rich. <laughs> so Energy do actually finally kill Tomo. They're like, aha. And a little bit slow for Dig. Rich now on the next minion wave and okay, contract is going to Killer Instinct from FBI in the back line here as well. The Fate Sealed isn't going to be enough. You got Dokla in there too. And RG, they're doing it. That's already two there as well for FBI. They're cleaning house now too. The only that's left is Santorin and Rich. And Santorin should get taken out by Palpa. I actually don't think he gets him here. I think Santorin makes it out alive. And he does indeed. So three down for Dignitas. And that should be a push up the mid lane for NRG. Rich seeing if he can cut minion wave but energy are defending it nicely all right with that dragon soul they're gonna run it all the way up there's three members now and it's just rich and santorin look how fast he is though see you, you can't be distracted by that it's just the inhib that they're here for they want to try to put it into this game and while there still is the baron buff there for 30 seconds gives them a little bit of safety under these towers they're still trying to dive underneath 
Got the combo of Contract and Ignar, but now it's the focus on the Nexus turrets. Is this where they finish it? Is this where NRG make good on their second round Robin? They're taking them down one by one, and they're looking at the Nexus now. The final body falls, and Dignitas is no more. NRG will take that revenge, and they'll take game number one of the day. action-packed game to start off your LCS debut.